Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to do a little showcase of my previous journal. It is, um, it's going to be like my uh, completed journal collection video where I'm just highlighting a few pages instead of showing every single page just because it's a, there's a lot of decoration but it's also a lot of writing too that um, just take a long time to cover up everything and I don't want to not cover up something private but anyways uh, so that's what it's gonna be like it's not gonna be a page by page flip through or anything like that so um, sorry about that but before we get started on the showcase I just wanted to let you know I'm hosting an art challenge it starts tomorrow the 13th the Sunday before things Pat St. Patrick's Day um, and it's going from Sunday to Thursday which Thursday the 17th is St. Patrick's Day it's called the Good Luck Art Challenge because St. Patrick's Day and good luck and leprechauns and whatever. Um, and also good luck finishing it because I never finish an art challenge no matter how small it is. I can never seem to finish one. But this is my own so I kind of have to. Um, so I'm really excited about it and just so you know um, I'm going to have a blog post on my website featuring um, everyone's art and based off the prompts. And uh, you can find the prompts on my Instagram or on my website. I'll have both linked below for you to check out if you would like to join in. If you want to do them all in one day, that's great too. So if you'd like to f be featured in the blog post, just put in your post somewhere that you you don't mind being put there. Or I'll reach out before I make a blog post. Um, but just for time's sake, just put in your put in your post that you're okay with it being on my blog post. Or you can just put in your first one, I'm okay with all my art being in the blog post. But anyways, let's just get started. So this is an Exceed notebook. It's about the size of a composition book. It's Exceed brand. I got it from Walmart for like $8. Um, it served me really, really well. I really love it. Um, I wish I could have kept working in it. I had to cut out quite a few pages in the back. Let me see. So as you can see, I had to cut out quite a few pages and I was ripping them out when I got to the middle of a signature just so I wouldn't mess up the binding but if I had kept working in it I know it would have fallen apart uh, so yeah um, so that sucked but uh, my new journal is the same brand same type of journal just blue I wasn't a huge fan of the blue cover so I used some black acrylic paint and some dark glitter glue come on camera I think it'll and I got this cool vampire sticker and this coffee sticker and I really like like it. Um, I'm going pretty slow in this journal. I haven't really been in the mood to journal so um, so yeah who knows how long that one's gonna take. So this one started October 1st and I finished it on February 20th so let's just get into very first few pages which is this one this is pictures and ephemera from our honeymoon we went to the Grand Canyon and on the way we stopped at Roswell which is known for its aliens and stuff so we went to a alien museum which it was okay it was it was okay but <laughs> I wish Danny was here because she would have really enjoyed it um, since I know aliens are her thing, and I got this, um, this cool squashed penny that has a saucer and some planets, and also in Roswell, if you're in the area, you're ever passing through there, there's a scrapbook shop, that's amazing, I couldn't stay too long, but, um, because we had to get, keep going, it was another eight hour drive, we, it was a long drive, but we had audio books to listen to, which was super nice, and so this is a page from the Grand Canyon, so this is just a um, a brochure, a map of the canyon, and this is our parking pass. I wish I would have scanned this and stuck a copy here and then put the original in the back or made another pocket for it, but um, that didn't work out. But I did circle, I don't think you can see, I circled where we were at initially, and then here I, in this postcard, I have a picture of us at the canyon. And the canyon itself, we actually met a couple that got married on the same day. And they were on their honeymoon there too, which was really cool. And uh, yeah, that was pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. So 
So moving on is we're finally home. I started decorating for Halloween a good week or so into the month, but here's some cute decorations that I can show you. This one's mostly writing again, but I really like those. I've had those for a few years. I got them at scrapbook.com. And then here are some cars that were from that are kind of more special than the rest because you know at birthday parties or especially like weddings, people, your parents or whoever kind of invite their own friends where you know them but they're not really close to you. So it's not to say that their cards and stuff aren't special but you know these are the extra special people like my really good friend gave me this card. And then my grandpa gave me this card, and my aunt and uncle gave me this card. Um, and then moving on, I love this page. Um, it's simple. I don't have a lot of travel stickers, but I have pictures of the canyon and us together at the canyon. And I love this one of our hands together. Uh, I was holding my camera, and we're holding our hands up like that, like a bunch of weirdos. Um... I don't think anyone cared too much, but I think it's a really sweet picture. I really like that picture of our, our ringed, wetted hands. And then this picture is overlooking the canyon. They have a hotel there, a really old hotel called the Tovar. It was really beautiful, very expensive, but very beautiful. And we got to sit on the porch and they had like a guy selling hot dogs out of this truck. So he ate hot dogs and looked at the canyon and it was very fun. It was just really nice to get away, but... I kind of learned driving that far, just the two of us. I'm not as adventurous as I thought I was because a lot of the the space between where we live from Texas to Arizona where the Grand Canyon is, is um, flat. There's nothing out there. A lot of abandoned cars and RVs and something about miles and miles and miles of no trees is really unsettling for me for some reason. So there's that. And this is a really fun page. I love this page. Is um, This is some of the paper we got in that scrapbook shop. It's, I guess, their own brand. It's something you could only get there alien themed. So I cut out, like, fussy cut him out of a picture and uh, really cool murals there. There's me. And it was a really good time, but I love this spread. It's very colorful and very fun. Um, so I love that. Next is just some more Halloween pages. This is a card from Sweet Megan. And then here is my, I think this is my first Sticky Club um, order. I don't think this was a subscription side of it. I think this was an order, but... I have a bunch of cards. This is a post, cool postcard from Danny. She sent people mask cards for Halloween. And um, I think this is also a sweet card from Megan with one of her pen pal letters, which Megan is such an amazing, kind, wonderful person. She's the very first person to send me a congratulation card on my engagement. Um, she's always so thoughtful. She's really amazing and she is Megan's Diary on YouTube, so go check her out. Give her some love. Give her a nice comment and like, because she's just so amazing. Then this is some um, happy mail from my friend, Leia. We used to pen pal back when I was in high school, or not high school, um, college, so we reconnected again, and we're sending mail back and forth, so I just sent her a mail, which you'll see the Valentine's Day mail that was a recent post on my, um, my channel if not the last post I made but she included all these really cool stickers in this cute bag and um, I love this tag she included with this yarn too she's just she's really awesome too her handle on Instagram is Leia's Universe and she's always good at taking pictures and she's a really talented artist and she's just really cool she's really nice and so you should give her some love too and then moving on I have um, this page, which um, which I like. This is a cover page from Flow Magazine, and then this is from a 6x6 scrapbook paper pad. Okay, sorry about that. I had to cover up some pictures, but I wanted to show this because um, I, I like it. So, like I was saying, this is um, something I cut out of a 6x6 paper pad from Michaels, I think, and then this is just a little 
um, paper clip I made with this ribbon years ago. So I, I couldn't tell you where to get this ribbon again, but it has little candy corns on it. Um, so this has been floating around my stash for like four or five years. And so I flipped this out. I added these pictures much later, but I did a highlight for the month, like I got married and some other stuff. But here's a picture of my sister and her friend and my grandpa. They were ghosts for Christmas, but on the right they were <laughs> they were white trash is what they called themselves, but my mom and her mom wouldn't let them go out like that, so they got the sheets and became ghosts. Which is pretty funny. My my sister has a similar piece piece of humor, a uh, sense of humor as me. She's really, she's just really freaking funny, and so is her friend. Um, they're with my grandpa, and I love it. I think it's really funny. And um, yeah, I just had to brag on my sister a little bit because I wanted to. And so I just keep that there to keep it closed, and you can see. On this page, especially the strain that all this stuff has done to the book, like you can't really, see, you can kind of see it there, like how it's really coming apart, and uh, the, I guess the glue or the the paper they put to the back of the signature, the spine of the signatures when they're sewn together, it was coming apart. So that's a big reason I, I um, stopped using everything. So this page is a fun page. I. Went and hung out with my mom. I just, I think I just got these Prisma watercolors. And um, here's just this little chili. I was excited to use the Samson. Um, the Prima pencils, the Prima pencils, not watercolors, they are amazing. I love them. And this, a um, journaling card with some gratitude stuff on there. Um, but I really like this page. I like the way it looks. It's really simple. Um, I got this stamp at a Japanese stationery store near where I live, so I couldn't tell you where to get that either, but I just really like how, how this page came out and wanted to show it. No, 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 no. Then, here is page for Thanksgiving. Obviously I can't show it, but I've had this um, card in my stash for quite a while. And um, I just, I just like the way it looks. I like the way this page came out and this um, text from an advertisement kind of curves around the top of it pretty well. But um, I just love this card. I think it's a really gorgeous card and it's gold foiled. And then I got this really adorable Amazing Christmas wrapping from Hallmark at the grocery store. Uh, I didn't use any of it for presents because I hate to use really pretty wrapping paper. Expensive wrapping paper like this for something that people are going to tear up and throw away. So there is that. Let's see what else do we got. So here is cover page for December. I have a bunch of goals which I meant was to launch my website. Finish designing it. Launch it. Make my printables. Do a gratitude for the month, which I did. I just didn't mark them off. Um, but I And I wrote my pretty much all of it, but finishing The Count of Monte Cristo, which I still haven't finished. It's a really dense book, but it's a really good book. It's my favorite book. But this is from Flow Magazine. Then you saw this page come together in the craft with me. And um, it's a gratitude. Oops. Uh, gratitude every day. And... Um, just some Christmas collage in the beginning of Christmas. Oops, sorry. Even what little I'm showing you, I forget to show um, cover stuff up. But these are just some Christmas cards that we got. This is from my husband's grandma. It's from I think work or something. I'm not too sure about that one. And then here's some more uh, Christmas stuff. This is a like a note from my friend. Um, some more labels from Christmas and then some more cards. Maybe this one is from my husband's grandma actually. But I really love angels too. I don't know if you know that but like angel imagery stuff like that. I really love it. I think it's they're really beautiful. Tiny, tiny card from Jay. Um, I love small cards too. They're just so fun. Like you see in vintage postcards the the variation in size of all these um, all these cards and now uh, they're kind of standardized now, but also cards are just really expensive. 
Oh, and then here, I've shown you this before. This is just um, wrapping paper collage. My favorite ones to make for the year. And you can't see because the lighting is bad. It's evening. Here's this page. Which is really fun. And then the final one I'll show you is um, this one. A cover page for February. Which, um, this, this is from Breathe Magazine. And, um... The words on her chest that I wrote was like her wedding song, which in French, I'm not going to try and say it in French, it's um, like There Are No Words is the name of the song, which is a really sweet song, and it's over her heart, so being cheesy. But I've also had this image in my sash since probably 2015 too, and I finally decided to use it when I cleaned out my um, scrap bucket. I used a white... Um, gel pen to outline her and just do little doodles around her which I think looks really cool. I like that look a lot. And then finally I'll show you like this is the books I read page. I didn't read well I read more books than I usually do. Uh, 2018 was my year for reading books. I read like 20 but I mean it's better than I've done the past few years. I read three or four books last month and I haven't finished one this month. So, I gotta get on that, but, um, some random stuff like the sticker collage I like a lot. All these are from Sticky Club, except that one. I think that one's from Target, or Michael's. And then here's my cover, or back page. I love this moth. Uh, scrapbooking paper, I think this is like Maggie Holmes or something. Yeah, Maggie Holmes, and I outlined a few of those moths in black marker to make them pop. And then just all the poke the postage stamps I got while using this journal. I almost filled this page. That would have been nice if I could fill the whole thing. But um, that is everything I have to share with you today. Uh, I look forward to to you participating in the art challenge. If you do, please do. It'd, be, it'd mean a lot to me, but if you don't, that's okay too. Um, be sure to tag me on Instagram and use the hashtag GL art challenge to so I can see your post more easily and yeah I will catch you in the next one bye